I've ruined YouTube, apparently. It's all been told. But I'm out today, and I've got to climb up that hill up there. Because there's a trig point up there, so I'm going to go flip that. And then... Oop! Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, it just started and I'm tripping over. And then we're going to camp up there, because I've got another new tent. Well, it's not new. Second hand from... Uh, eBay or Marketplace. I can't remember where I buy these tents, <laughs> but I keep buying them, don't I? Look, there she is. Mrs. Slug, aka Fenzel Washington. But come on, let's get up there, shall we? Got a couple of R2-D2s flying about over there. <laughs> Right, do we want to go up here? Well, I want to be up there, so... It's locked, mate. I'm going to have to go up and over. Come here, your little suitcase. Look at this here, it's like a, a mini canal. It's because it's full of reservoirs around here. <sighs> and it'll be feeding all the water systems. Got itchy nips, mate. Yeah. You know it's gonna make it worse. <laughs> Come on, you little muppet. Got a beautiful view from down here. Imagine what it's going to be like when we get up there, <laughs> up there, up there. <laughs> hey. This is the dangers of uh, drinking water from places like these. You just never know what's in it. Looks like a baby deer there. It's sad really, but it's obviously fallen in here and then not been able to get out, which it won't be able to. Look. No chance of getting out, poor thing. And that's why you should always check your water sources before you drink. Obviously you filter them, but even if you filtered that downstream from that, you'd still probably get pooly. It just feeds down into that reservoir down there. Leeming Reservoir. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'll get my potato out to show you. I can also hear a steam train. I wonder if that smokes the steam train over there. Hold on, let me get my potato out again. If I get up to the top, might be able to see it going through the valley. Did you hear that duck then? <laughs> it's just like having a wander down the side at Canal, is this? But there's no one here. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice and quiet, apart from me gobbing it off like. It's full of these little bridges and stuff. There's another one over there, and then these overflows here. Now Fendi gonna get a drinky poos or no. I hope she's having another scratch, look. <laughs> look at the state of it. Hiya! Alright, I'll leave you alone. Or should we just stay here and have a staring com competition? Ah, wouldn't ya? Beat you, mate. Beat ya. I was cheating anyway because I got sunglasses on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pheasant. They don't half shit you up, them. 
you can get right next to them with a couple of feet and then they'll just brrrr, <laughs> just flap off out of nowhere this must have been an old pack horse route at some point you can see the tracks going up through the stones mental isn't it how they used to do stuff back in olden days and now we can just click a button and get stuff delivered to us out <laughs> no, it's easy isn't it easy life hey right i need to get up there now there's another reservoir here behind me that one's thornton moor reservoir and there's an absolutely beautiful viaduct over at Thornton that you can walk over, they've made it, it's a disused railroad rail, <laughs> yak it's a disused railway line but they've made it into a, a walkway so you can, uh, a bridleway even should I say so you can walk over it I'll have to go over there at some point do a stealth camp over there And now we're walking into Middle Earth because the trig points over yonder. But I'm looking out for wild camping spots now. It's a beautiful view, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that that's a steam train down there. Keep on hearing it going doot doot. So we'll get on here a bit, find somewhere to sit down and get a drink, and then see if that train sets off. There's a little pathway in here. So we'll go have a look, see what's in here. Might be where, uh, where navvies used to hang about when they were building reservoirs. I bet there's some stone huts and stuff up here. This is definitely the remnants of some buildings over there as well. And over there. I think the trig point up here, somewhere anyway. <sighs> don't really want to be aimlessly wandering about up on moors because it's very very tough terrain when you're not on paths but I seem to have found a little game trail here so we'll get up to the top of this ridge and have a look to see if we can see up well it's just vast nothingness up here. <laughs> no trig. Hey dear. Well, there's a trig point over there. But look how beautiful this is up here. Really does look like Middle Earth, doesn't it? Well, that's where we want to be, up there. Come on. <sighs> it's full of these little alcoves and stuff up here. Right through there, there's another one over there. So, if you get trapped up here and it's windy, you could definitely take shelter in there. I think that is the train, you know, smoke coming up. Found some more structures over here. Let's have a look inside. I'm guessing this will have just been a little sort of wind block maybe for the navvies you reckon that were like stairs coming in <laughs> I don't know where they were going like and then maybe a window there but there's loads of these sort of buildings up here because there's loads of reservoirs about so that's what the uh, what the navvies built and this is where they used to live, they just hang about up here live up on moors crazy isn't it, oh, look at this, it's like a bit of a bit of a clapper bridge guessing this will have been where they got the water and that from at one point crazy isn't it 
how people used to live back in day and now we've got Amazon Prime <laughs> here we go we're nearly there now oh. lovely patch of grass for me to kip on Wow, check out those views. Or as other YouTubers do it, check out those views there. Can you see the views? Beautiful, isn't it? Look at it, mate. Yes. Beautiful views, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So, I parked on, there's a road running through there. I don't know if you can see car coming down. But I parked on there come along here walked all the way along this bottom bit over towards that reservoir up there and then up and along this path here there were loads of old buildings and stuff mounds and that on the way just love it up here trig points over there see that turbine that stopped closest to us it's just right next to it. Don't know if I'm going to bother going over there to flip it. It looks quite um, underwhelming. <laughs> Especially when I got a view like this. Why bother? Whew. Nice to get that off my back. Beautiful. Not a drink. Are you not bothered? Ah. Ah. Come on then. Where are you? Ooh. Ah, there she is. What a nice view, eh, mate? Gorgeous, isn't it? Not that you're bothered about the view. A great man once said, step one, find a campsite. Step two, have a beer. <laughs> Ooh. Well, cheers, Steve. So I guess you're all wondering how I've ruined YouTube, aren't you? <laughs> well I've been told by other YouTubers that they can't watch wild camping shows now without them um, having something happen to them like uh, something scary has happened to them in a boffe someone creeping around at night time outside the tents doing Bigfoot videos and ghost videos now getting attacked by wild animals <laughs> So yeah, I've ruined YouTube. Well, at least the wild camping side of it anyway. And it's not my fault that uh, weird stuff seems to happen to me while I'm out. You know, random strangers creeping up behind me. Weird noises happening at night. I seem to attract it all, don't I? She's miles away again down there slugging down hill i got her some natural treats some rabbit ears and they just hadn't agreed with her she's been itching ever since she only had two of them as well but i always like to feed her natural stuff just because she uh she deserves best doesn't she yeah look at the state of it <laughs> Do you mind not sticking that in my face? <laughs> right, it's 20 past 7 now, so we've got about probably about three quarters of an hour until the sun goes down. 
and then I'll uh, I'll get my tent and that set up and I'll show you my new tent. It only weighs 1.3 kilos and it's a, a semi freestanding one so it's all poles and stuff there. Have you seen ghost there look? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I don't think you'll have heard of it either for all you tent boffins out there. Shall we get drawn out? I haven't had drawn out for a bit, have I? I brought it with me, so may as well hey up. Come up, put your Sweden way again. <laughs> Always does it when I'm talking to you, don't, don't you? Hey. Oh, old big Swede here. Let's get up in the sky, shall we? Guess the song? <laughs> Good and want it, eh? Right, so this is my tent. Tiny, isn't it? Eh? It's like a lanchan. But this has got poles and it's a decent structure, so I'm gonna get it set up because this wind's really whipping us from behind. I've come up a bit early, really, but. I wanted to go for a little bit of a ramble, which I have done. <laughs> right, let's get set up. And there she is, look. The Big Sky Revolution 1.5. Beauty, in it? Granted, it's pretty much the same design as my Taj E2, but this one's got um, DAC Featherlight green poles, I believe it is, and plus it's a lot lighter, so, and it's just a little bit smaller, but 1.5, there's plenty enough for me and our Fenzel there. It's an all mesh inner, which I wouldn't have gone for if I were going to buy it new but I didn't have that option so oh look at it it's beautiful right I'm going to put some gear in here because Fendi's freezing the flaps off aren't you mate <laughs> oh, it's nice to get out of that wind isn't it mate Eh? Oh, it's not bad in here. It's got hanging loops everywhere. There, 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 there. <coughs> pocket at that side, pocket at that side, pocket at this side, pocket at that side. Two vestibules. Yeah. Not bad. It's a double skin tent as well. I, uh, I don't like single skin tent just because of condensation issues because there's two of us with this little 
Muppet here farting away. <laughs> oh, thanks. You want some food, mate? Let's get you some scram. You're going for the duck jerky first. Bet you are, aren't you? <laughs> Can't get it, can you, kid? Yeah, she's got him now. She's got him. It's a shame about that sunset. I don't think I'm going to get one because of low lying cloud. I think that's the best I'm going to get. Bloody typical, isn't it? But hopefully, we'll get a decent sunrise. They start from that side. She's a funny onion, isn't she? I want to say thank you to Tracy at Simply Sewing in Sawbury Bridge. She's a top lass. She's modified an old sleeping bag for me for our Fenzel. So now we don't have to share and I don't have to smell, well, I don't have to get Dutch ovened by her <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so thanks a lot, Tracy. You can see this now getting in use. Hopefully she'll stay in it and still not try not try climbing with me still. Right, well I'm not hungry yet, so I'm just gonna chill out for a bit. Just uh watch the world go by, so to speak. Chopper's out. And it's starting to get dark now as well. All the little twinkly lights are starting to come on down in the uh, in the town down there at Ox and Hope. Excuse you, mate. It's Fendi burping. I have brought myself a pot noodle. Now, if you've never had a pot noodle while you're camping, then you're lying. I've said it before and I've said it again. You're definitely lying. <laughs> but I'm just not hungry so that can chill there I might have it a bit later on I might not but for now I think I'm going to chill out watch a bit of YouTube and go to sleep and hopefully fingers crossed we'll get a decent sunrise in the morning three hours later I fell asleep didn't I, I fell asleep too early about nine o'clock and if anyone that suffers with sleep maintenance insomnia like I do, you know that that's, that's me awake now. But rest at night, normally when I wake up, <laughs> I'll be awake all night and then fall asleep at quarter to seven just before alarm goes off in morning. Oh, fuck. Don't know if I can just sit here for six hours, especially with that going on. Have you heard that? Give up. The uh, the storm flap that goes over top of the zip to stop rain coming in. It don't have a a stiffener in it like most tents do. It's just a bit of fabric, and that's just flapping away. One minute thirty-seven seconds later. Right, I've got to make a decision here. Do I stay here and watch crap on my phone for six hours until the sun comes up and maybe get a sunrise? But not guaranteed a sunrise either. That's what uh, wild camping has taught me. 12 seconds later. Yeah, I can't stay in that tent for six hours not sleeping. So I've packed up. Leave no trace, as usual. If you enjoyed my little hike, can't exactly call it a camp, can I? I've only been camping for a couple of hours. <laughs> but if you enjoyed my little hike, give us a thumbs up, won't you? Thanks for watching.